Joe Huxley here from LHSN with Kayla Hugate after doubleheader victories for Lynchburg softball today. In game two, you went four for four. The team wins big in the end. Mm -hmm. Before we talk about you, I want to talk about the team first and being able to face some adversity with Randolph making it a one-run game uh, there in the sixth. In the bottom of the sixth, you guys opened it up. What's it like being a part of a team that can just come out and hitter after hitter bring in the runs? It's really amazing that we have the confidence in every batter, one through nine in our lineup, that can come up and do something big at any time, no matter what kind of day they're having. They could go over three in the last at bat. They could open it up. I know a lot of players have been able to count on them to get it started, and then our hitting is so contagious on our team. So once it starts rolling, big things happen, like you saw BC did, and things just keep rolling. It kind of smacks the other team while they're down um, and gives us a little more confidence, and we can go on and finish the game strong. That's how it happened today in game two. And for you specifically, a couple of months ago, about a month ago, we talked about how it wasn't a great start to the season for you. That is definitely not the case now. ODAC player of the week from last week, four for four, as we mentioned in game two today. What's been the difference maker for you? I think hitting is very mental, and that's when I kind of struggled the most. And it's all about your mentality when you go in there. If you go in like, man, I've been sucking it up. Like, what's going on? Um, that's not the way to think about it. You just really have to lean on your teammates and trust them. Like, hey, we're winning, and I'm not doing well. Y'all keep doing what you're doing, and I'll pick it up, and I'll get there. I'll meet you guys there. Um, but just having the constant um, teammates, like, coming and picking me up anytime. Like, if I seem a little down on the field, they're coming up and say, hey, like, who cares? It's okay. Like, you got it next time. We all know you can hit. And now I feel like I'm at a point where I can do that for anyone else that's struggling because I've been through that and we all go through it, and so it's just great to have teammates there that are so supportive. Last thing I want to ask you is from a defensive standpoint, we always talk to the pitchers about what it's like to have those behind them, but we don't always talk about what it's like from your all's perspective having the pitching staff that you guys have this year with Belknap and Cox and Caesar. Watching Kaylee Cox work through game two and, and the way that Alex does it in game one, what kind of confidence level does that bring to you guys that they're going to also put you in position to be successful in the field? Right. Well, as a defense, we always try and give all of our effort anytime we can for our pitchers just to show them that, look, we get you're doing the work. Keep doing it for us because a lot of times, as you've seen, some of the umpires, we can get a little bit of a tight zone here and there. So they're really working through it. And it's just amazing to have the confidence in them to be able to throw it up there. And they trust us to be able to make a play. And it's been really clicking for us game to game. And even if we have to have some relief, they've been doing a great job of stepping in. So I'm really proud of them. Seven straight wins for Lynchburg softball. They continue to roll on here through the season. Kayla, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Very good. Bad. See, you were so worried. <laughs>